Benjamin asks, how can I remove created by in viewing record of sh SharePoint list? I don't mean hide a column. I mean, remove the created by, which appears in the below of the form page. So we don't want to know when it created. We want it just to be timeless. Yeah, 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 no. There's so many reasons why you don't want to do that. Right. Like, I really, I didn't opt this out. I really didn't think about it until you were reading it. And I'm like, ah, because in, in records and information management, knowing who created it, like in the federal mm -hmm. government, if it was created by someone of a certain level or higher, that is a permanent record in perpetuity. Like, yeah. the fact that you wouldn't want that is is horrifying to me. It's like, why? The problem is when you do a migration, why? though, the created by who's act is who actually added it to the library. So mm -hmm. it it identity right. stamps it. And when I've done migrations manually, instead of being able to use some of these awesome migration tools, it looks like I was a very busy person. Plus, you lose <laughs> all of the um, all, that one all of the history you know when it was when it was actually yep. created not that when it was at, at sharepoint so i think it's really important to know that th there's one of four actually five fields that you cannot change for that reason for yours exactly jay it's the id which you may or may not ever see yep. created by modified by created dates and modified date are, are automatically stamped and you cannot alter those but you can add additional columns to that library or list so if you need to know who the document owner is, you can capture that in a different field yep. versus like who actually uploaded it and put it in the library. Is that, so is that or a published date or ratified date or you can add additional fields that aren't those four yep. or five core ones, correct? I I mean, I've really got it. Benjamin, Benjamin just, just like some of our other, other conversations, I want to know what are you trying to do that you don't want the created by? Like it's, right. I, I'm, I'm left wondering if this is some kind of an anonymous feedback library of some sort, mm. which if I could yeah. see that, Confident. but if that's yeah. what it is, yeah. this is not the solution for it. Like yeah. right. this is one of those cases that maybe SharePoint isn't the right answer. Yeah, the, uh, it, 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 that's a great point. It's meant yeah. to be a transparent uh, process. It's and that's permission based around each of those things. Uh, you know, when I've had questions like this, back in the days when I was a SharePoint admin, I was part of my role, you know, and, and I, I, maybe this is relevant to uh, Benjamin's, can I call you Ben, uh, question, um, <laughs> but is sometimes it's really, they're just trying to, they don't understand that you could go in and create the view and mm -hmm. as you said, create the new columns of what you want that's more descriptive, and you don't have to utilize that for the for the view, if that's yep. all it is. But if you are trying to suppress that information, then this is not the solution. Yep. Well, the other thing is in, in your content today. types. Oops, sorry, Chrissy, go ahead. I was going to say, <laughs> could it be something, it, you know, what are they trying to capture? As you said, kind of the question, should they be using form where it's an anonymous reply, which goes into Excel, which pulls into yes. SharePoint? Do you know, could you right. use another tool that gives you anonymous, is it a document and you can do that in forms where they got to load up a document and it gets attached? Yeah. Could you do it's it a different way? The layers that allow you to do that. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's <laughs> like, well, why? What are you trying to capture? It's always the hard part. It's like, what? Yeah. That, more questions. I have more questions, yeah. Christian. <laughs> Well, and <laughs> my biggest frustration too is the properties panel because in the mm -hmm. properties panel it displays all of that whether you want it to or not you have to create a content type in the yes. library in order to hide what is shown in a form mm -hmm. which is, includes those identity and date stamps so that's in, an option as well so if they're wanting to hide it from the information panel that's another possibility all right I feel like things. if we can <laughs> cause people to ask more questions and create more chaos around yes. these these topics, that we've done our job. So good job, yeah. everyone. <laughs> Thank you. You oh. know, I say all the time, it's like that uh, uh, one of my skills uh, is that I'm really good at creating work for other people. So you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs>